Hello, uh, and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And for this one, it is World Games, which was uh, by Epix and released or published by US Gold in 1986. So, having done Summer Games, Winter Games, Summer Games 2, I think I did Summer Games too. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, uh, after those three, along came this one. And, well, I guess Epics, if they wanted to continue the game series, uh, they didn't really have much option because, I mean, they'd already done Summer Games, let's face it, it meant to be the Olympics. And then they had a, a second uh, uh, title, and then with Winter Games, well, it was, do we do a Winter Games 2? But, uh, perhaps wisely, they decided against it. So, in, instead, we have a series of events that um, are all quite varied, shall we say. So, well, we'll uh, compete in all events. Doesn't matter about changing the number of joysticks because it's only me. Uh, so, there we go. Right, who do I be? Oh, fuck it, I'll be Comrade Lucosa. Yeah, wasn't that fun. Alright, so we have uh, just me representing the Soviet Union as they were. <laughs> right, I should be able to get away with having a fag with this game because uh, it's not the most frantic uh, place of uh, games. Okay, so we start then the first event, which is weightlifting. Uh, we get this uh, sort of travelogue uh, uh, thing. You can skip this and go straight to the event, but uh, there's not really much point in doing that, uh, especially if back in the day you had the cassette version, because it meant you had to go through, you know, on the tape to load this up anyway. So the scene for this event is uh, Russia in the, the Soviet Union. I, I, I don't get that. Why Russia for weightlifting? When I think of weightlifting, I think of Greece, Turkey, Iran, not not Russia. I suppose in 86, yeah, maybe. Anyway. So, here we are then. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently... And facts that start with apparently are never uh, good. Um, this main sprite uh, for uh, uh, the weightlifter, or rather the main character, it comprises 100 sprites. I can't see how that is true at all. Uh, so we can uh, select the weight, I'll, I'll get a banker uh, weight, so we'll start with the uh, weedy easiest one. So this is the snatch event. Um, right, it's, uh, it's all about timing uh, the uh, moves. So. And there we go. Wait for the lights. There we go. Three white. You can still get it with a split decision if it's 2 1 uh, on the uh, white lights, but uh, that doesn't happen very often. Right, so we now have to add another or oh, more weight. Let's take it up a bit. We'll take it up to 100.
There you go, no problem. And three whites again. The uh, the snatch uh, weightlifting is certainly the easier of the two. I do quite like white, uh, watching uh, weightlifting, the actual sport itself. Um, but I much prefer watching the uh, clean and jerk because that's when they lift the really big weights. Uh, let's take it up to 125. Let's see how we do with this. I should be able to do it. <laughs> Famous last words. Ah, fucked it. Got the timing wrong there. So, um, my successful weight then was, what was it, 100? 110? I don't know, something like that. Right, so now we're on to the clean and jerk. Again, I need to get a banker one in because I'm pretty crap at this one. Uh, right. He's obviously very spread out for someone who's doing a clean and jerk weightlifting. There you go. I always fuck up the actual uh, the final jerk part. Uh, right, let's try again. Ah, fucking hell. Right, well, I'm gonna fuck this one up as well, but, uh, right, there we go. Oh, nearly fucking got it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so that's weightlifting. Oh, okay, so I lifted 100. Which is fucking useless. <laughs> but, uh, there we go. Still good enough to get me gold on the account that there's no one else. Uh, right, so, uh, next event is barrel jumping. Now, this event... Mm, takes place in Germany. Do we really associate barrel jumping with Germany? Or rather, do we associate Germany with barrel jumping? And if you look at the map on the uh, scrolling globe there, where they've highlighted, th that doesn't look like Germany to me. That looks more like it's in fucking, that's well into Poland. But then again, if you look on that map there and you look for Scandinavia, it's not there. You know, the reason they didn't have any events in uh, Norway or Sweden is because according to this fucking globe here, those countries don't exist. Mm. And barrel jumping was actually the last event added to this game because originally uh, they were going to make uh, the event for Germany football. Uh, but they just, it, it wasn't working out, the gameplay was pretty tedious, so eventually <coughs> what they decided, they were changing it and they made it just a straight penalty shootout, and that wasn't working either, so in the end they said, right, we'll change the event totally, and they came up with barrel jumping. Okay, alright. Um, well, we'll start with uh, seven, because I'm not brilliant at this event. I'm not brilliant at any of the events, actually, but it's getting the speed up that uh, is my weakest area. Oh, fuck it. And also timing when to actually do, do the jump. So that was good. <sighs> Alright, try seven again. Can't move you fucking. There we go, cleared that easy. Pull down the land. Seven cleared. Seven really isn't much of a challenge. Uh, apparently, the most that can be jumped is 17. Um, I'm not going to go for 17, let's go for 12. 
He doesn't look very confident about this one. Mind you, I can't say I feel very confident about it myself. There we go, 12 clear. And that's it, three attempts. So, uh, yeah, I win that one. What a surprise. Alright, next event is cliff diving, which takes place in Mexico. In Acapulco, to be precise. And, oh, well, on the map, they've actually somewhat got, uh, got it right. Probably because, uh, we've... Even Americans know where Mexico is. <coughs> so here we are. Now, you can select where you start. Uh, personally, I don't bother with the really low ones. Uh, I much prefer the higher one. It gives you more time. You also see with the arrow there, it gives you an idea of wind uh, strength. Um... I can't really judge it very well, so I just go by how uh, far he moves away from the cliff edge. The idea is you need to enter the water as close to the cliff edge as you can. So, right, let's uh, give this a give this a go. I'm not great at this event either. You're going to hear me say that a lot. Uh, I think I've left it way too late, yeah. 69. Well, by my standards, that's not bad. Right, let's have another go. Again, you get three attempts. Yeah, oh, that looked better. Wow, it was better by one point. Okay, final, uh, final attempt. Here we go. Oh, that way, way too late. The wind wasn't as strong as I thought. Yeah, 59, that was shit. <laughs> But, shock horror, I win the gold. So, I've won three golds in a row. That's now about to change, because we now get to some of the events that I really am fucking hopeless at. I think the next one is slalom skiing. Yes, it is. I am absolutely shite at this. Now, I've also played the Atari ST version of this. Uh, I played that, actually, I played the ST version more than I played the Commodore 64 version. And, um, yeah, so this is in Chamonix, France. Horrible, fucking snobby place. But anything associated with uh, France, is, oh, not France, with skiing, is fucking snobby. I'm not a skiing fan. There you are, yeah, I played the Atari ST version more than the uh, 64 version. Uh, we, uh... Ah, oh, fucked it already. No, right, here we go. Alright, uh, well, I've missed two gates now. I'll go through this one. Missed that one. Uh, oh, God, fuck it. Now I don't know how I got away with that. And oh, missing gates galore. And to be honest, I don't care if I miss gates. I just need to or want to get to the bottom of the fucking slope, which is almost fucking miraculous in itself. You know, just just yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care how many I fucking missed. And there we go. We crossed the finish line. I haven't done that in fucking years. My best time, 2 uh, minutes 50, because <laughs> of all the fucking time penalties. But yeah, on the ST version, uh, if you press fire and start, you don't have to move and you'll get to the bottom. 
Now, on the 64 version, you can't get away with that. It's, I'm not... Oh, oh fuck it you out. Know. If you go right through a uh, pole, you actually hit it, um, then, yeah, that's... Uh, that's game over. Well, not game over, but you disqualified on that particular run. Oh, fuck you, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, wrong side of the pole there. Uh, oh, I thought I'd fucking uh, pile into that one. Well, can I beat my 2 minutes 50 time? Oh. There you go, 2 minutes 35. <laughs> oh, what a great score. Except 250 seems to be my best. Okay. Don't ask me how. I, I actually posted a time, which for that event is fucking rare for me. Right, next. Oh, the next event is log rolling. I hate this event. I'm absolutely shit at this. Uh, so shock horrors in Canada. In fact, if you look on the map, it seems to be pointing at uh, well around Nova Scotia way. When I lived in Canada, that's where I was. I didn't see much log rolling in Nova Scotia. I always associate it with somewhere like, uh, you know, either the Yukon or British Columbia, not fucking Atlantic Canada. Yeah, right. Anyway, we need to uh, change, flip the uh, disc over. Yeah, right. So. I am the, I was going to say I'm the bearded one, but they both are. Oh, I'm the one in the hat. Right. Now, you need to move the stick in, uh, yeah, in the uh, same sort of rhythm as uh, the feet movement. And, um, yeah, it is ridiculously hard. That is one almighty small fucking shark. Okay, let's try that again. So, well, <laughs> yeah. Because the, obviously the idea is you're supposed to be trying to knock the other person off. Um, and uh, yeah, while you're going, if you press fire button, you then change the direction. Um, that you are, you know, moving in. And, yeah. Well, what a surprise. I'm absolutely fucking shit at that still. I think this is the worst event in the game. It's just no fun to play. The controls are fucking horrible. So, although it uh, has me as winning, it doesn't give you a gold medal because my score was fault. I uh, <laughs> fucked up all three uh, events. Or all three attempts, rather. Uh, next event, I think, yeah, ball riding. Okay. This one can be a bit of a cunt. So, in the uh, radio, it doesn't say whereabouts, just somewhere in the American West. Uh, where's it highlighting on the map? Um, oh, some shit hole. Right. So you have a choice of uh, balls. Ferdinand here is the easiest one, and then you go right down to Earthquake, who is the most difficult. Uh, let's try and put a banker round in with uh, Ferdinand. So here we go. So you have to hold the joystick in the direction the ball is facing and then if he goes into a spin you pull down to uh, keep yourself down on top of him without being thrown off and that is about it but believe me it's not as easy as I make it sound so there you go we managed to uh, finish that uh, attempt. 64 is quite a low score, but then I was on the easiest ball. Let's try the next one. Let's try Elmer. Don't 
don't rate my chances here. Ah, you fuck. So much for that. Uh, right, let's try the really cuntish one then. Let's try Earthquake. Right, here we go. I'll be amazed if I last a second on this cunt. Fuck it, yeah, I just about kept it together. And then he fucking... 3.74 seconds, so almost half the time. But uh, there you go. That's ball riding. Again, three attempts and it's done. So each event doesn't last very long. So if you were playing this on cassette back in the day, it is highly likely you spent far more time waiting for the events to load than you did actually playing them. Especially if you were just playing it as a single player. Uh, right, next, Kabatos. I'm fucking shot at this one as well. Uh, so, obviously with the Kabatos, uh, we're off to uh, Scotland. Uh, what part of Scotland? Uh, it's too fucking small on the map. Alright. I have to say, the... Uh, yeah, it's, the bagpipe sound is really fucking well done. It really does sound like the bagpipes. I don't know what it is. I do like bagpipe music. I do think it sounds good. Anyway, all right, let's let's try and try and uh, get somewhere with this. I I just can't get. You've got to get the rhythm right. And then you have to throw, and it fucking fault. They've got uh, the actual idea of uh, uh, tossing the caber completely wrong in this game. It's it's about how far you throw it here, whereas of course in the Highland Games that's not what it's about. It's about you toss the caber, and then it has to go as straight, you know, continuing as much or, or as close to a straight line as you can. It's nothing to do with distance. But, uh, yeah, here it's distance. I guess uh, the Americans aren't too up on uh, the Highland Games. Uh, yeah, if you, if you carry on too long, you just let it end up on your ass like that. Third attempt, this is going to be another foul because I'm fucking hopeless at this uh, event. Yeah, nowhere near enough energy uh, in the run-up. So, there we go. Uh, Caver Toss. Oh, what a fucking useless edit. Not all that surprising, I guess, that uh, a Soviet Union athlete wasn't too good at uh, tossing the caver. At some point there has to be some comment about tossers, but uh, it's, it's just eluding me at the moment. So the next event is sumo wrestling. This is the last event. And sumo wrestling is, of course, yep, Brazil. Oh no, it's Japan. Um, now this event doesn't last very long because uh, you basically get one stab at it. I do actually quite like watching sumo. Uh, the, I mean, it dates back fucking thousands of years. And the traditions are just great. Right, so, right, we're on. I've grabbed his, uh, and fuck it. Because I ended up on my back. I threw him out of the ring, but I ended up on my back, so I lost. But nevertheless, I scored 69 points, which for me is quite a, a decent amount in this game. Um, and that is it. <laughs> that's that's sumo done. I assume it carries on if you win the bout, but uh, yeah, as soon as you lose, done. And that is World Games. So, um, all right, let's get uh, the review then. Uh, graphically, I I must admit the graphics are certainly uh better than the three previous games uh, so yeah graphically I think it does look great um, 
in terms of audio, I mean, as always, music is not FX's strong point, and the sound effects are pretty basic. Although it's nothing compared to the Atari ST version. Uh, the Atari ST version of uh, World Games is the very, you know, the perfect example of just how shit Atari ST audio was. So, uh, you know, the Commodore 64 version audibly is much better than the uh, ST version. Um, and then the gameplay. Uh, some of the events do play really well. I do like the cliff diving. I like the weightlifting. I know the weightlifting is one that rather divides opinion. Um, right, I'm going to have to go to the practice here so I can be reminded of the events. Uh, barrel jumping is okay. Slalom skiing is extremely difficult. Log rolling I can't stand. Uh, the ball riding is... Yeah, it's okay. Cable toss would be okay, but I just cannot get the fucking uh, you know, rhythm right for the uh, run-up. Uh, sumo wrestling would be good, but it's just over too quickly. Uh, you know, give you know, have have three attempts, not just the one. But um, yeah, they all play reasonably well. I think this is if we're just taking them in sequence. Um, of the four that there were when this came along, I think this is the weakest of the four. I, I do prefer the two summer games titles. I do prefer winter games. Um, after this, we got California games, which a lot of people seek the rate. I fucking detest it. Um, so I think this is certainly better than that. And the less said about the game's summer edition and winter edition, the better. So, um, I would give this a uh, 7 out of 10. It's, you know, it's, it's not shit by any means. But uh, I do prefer its three predecessors. So that is World Games. It's, it's not bad. Worth, uh, worth taking a look at if you've not played it before. Um, but, yeah, I'd rather be playing summer games or winter games than this one so uh, that is it that brings this review to an end and we'll see you on the next one